The dwindling economic fortunes of many states in Nigeria and the inability of these states to meet their obligations to workers in terms of salaries has led to a series of face-offs between civil servants and government officials across the country. Okay. A similar situation in Nasarawa State in July got ugly and two civil servants lost their lives. Today, the National Human Rights Commission is in the state on a fact-finding mission. The team, led by the Executive Secretary, Professor Bem Angwe, makes its first stop at the Government House, where the Commission pledges a thorough and fair investigation. In line with our mandate, we admitted the allegations and the complaint for purposes of investigation and for the enforcement of the rights of the victims. We have also commenced investigation into these allegations. Uh, again, I assure you that my government and all officers that will partake in this investigation will give you all the necessary cooperation to ensure that this exercise is a success. I wish you all the best. The team then moves to the State Police Command, whose officers were also accused of misuse of firearms by the NLC. An allegation the police boss defends. The investigation has been taken over from us. The first CID, under the instruction of the Inspector General of Police, has taken over the investigation. As such, we cannot say much on that investigation anymore. Even though we have submitted our preliminary investigation, that we have done. The general manager of the state's broadcasting service is also joined in the petition. Mr. Yusuf Musa narrates his side of the story. As they broke everything they can, I heard them saying, bring petrol, let's burn the idiot. They were shouting. And one police officer, an ASP, I cannot recollect his name, saw me, saw this thing, he was on top of uh, the slope like this. So he rushed down and said, oh, who are you burning? And he saw me and my car battered. The team also met with the leadership of the state organized labor for more clarification. The rights. In the meantime, all parties accused in the petition and those involved in the incident have been instructed to submit a statement of oath to enable adequate investigation and recommendations to put an end to the violation of human rights in the state.